Now, in South India, over 7,000 people have been evacuated ahead of a severe cyclonic storm causing torrential rains. Cyclone Michuang expected to make landfall in the next 24 hours. BBC reporter Pramila Krishnan has more on this. Cyclone Michuang has affected Chennai city today. Indian Meteorological Department has predicted extreme heavy rainfall today and moderate rains would continue for three more days. In 2015, Chennai city suffered very badly in, uh, in floods. So the residents in the city are worried and gripped in fear. Several hundred lives were lost in the floods in 2015. So many residents are locked up in their houses and, rise, uh, and high-rise apartments. Many people in the low-lying area were rescued and uh, put up in the relief camp centers. Over 200 relief centers have been set up in the city. Train services has been suspended and the flights are diverted to the nearby states. This cyclone Mijang is expected to cross Andhra Pradesh coast tomorrow with wind speed of 80 to 100 km per hour. Well, let's get more on this with Ambarasan Etheraj and South Asia Regional Editor for the BBC World Service. Ambarasan, welcome to you. Bring us up to date on the cyclone, what impact it's having and how people are being evacuated. As we speak, the southern Indian city of Chennai has been battered with the heavy rains and floodwaters. And the officials were saying that more than 30 centimetres of rain in the past few days. And uh, the cyclone, which is likely to develop into a super cyclonic storm, is expected to cross uh, the southeastern coast sometime tomorrow morning. So this Chennai, which is one of the big metropolitan cities of India with a population of more than 7 million, has been battered and floodwaters have entered residential areas. There have been pictures of uh, cars being swept away in these floodwaters. And uh, the city also uh, hosts two rivers which passes through the main areas of the city. They are overflowing as a result that rainwater has not been able to go and meet the river and many residential areas are now under water. Now, the authorities have announced many relief centers. People can go there. Many schools have been converted into uh, temporary residential centers. And Chennai is also an industrial hub with many car automobile companies and a company which makes iPhone. It is also on the outskirts of the uh, city. They have been uh, operating partially and the authorities are warning people not to come out, not to travel until it is very essential. And the airport services have been shut down, train services have been severely hampered. And uh, now they are hoping that there won't be any more strong rain. But then people are worried that when the cyclone crosses, there could be more inundation. And what happened in 2015, as the reporter was mentioning, that many uh, residential areas were flooded. Yeah, I was going to ask you how common this kind of weather event is. Monsoon uh, is not very unusual in the southern part of India. This is the monsoon season, but cyclonic storms also occasionally hit the coast. Uh, but what's happening in these the developmental activities over the decades because the floodplains and the water catchment areas have now become residential apartment complexes. And this is one of the most industrialized areas of India. So you see the huge growth of IT industry and the automobile industry. So as a result, all these blocks, residential tower blocks have come up blocking these floodwaters going and meeting the Bay of Bengal. So that is one of the reasons why environmental activists have been saying for years that you know lessons should have been learned from 2015 that all these encroachments and they should not give planning permission to these new blocks in the floodplains or also this whole area is surrounded by lakes more than 50 lakes around the city of Chennai alone so when the lakes are full then they come into the uh, rivers and then into residential areas so people are worried now. Okay Embarasan thank you very much for updating us there on that cyclone in southern India.